Alright, and here we are in the reptile bar of today's video. So, today's video was kind of like a chill video where we just wrapped up the wetlands area. We have one more thing to do in the wetlands area and then we are finished. Um, and we will have our first tour for the zoo. So I'm planning for Brixton Zoo and Yellow, uh, Yellowstone Zoo. We're going to have our first two tours. So this tour is going to be for the wetlands area. Um, not including the reptile house, because we will actually be going back to that in the next episode. Actually, episode after the next episode, yes. So, not the next episode, episode after that, we'll be back to the reptile house up here. Um, working on the speckled caiman habitat, which is the second one. Uh, so yeah, back to this, um, it's gonna, this is like a chill kind of episode, or that we made the gift shop, so let's, we're still at the unfinished entrance. This will also be in... Next, and I think the next episode is going to be wrapping up. It's literally going to be called wrapping up the um, uh, wrapping up the wetlands area. So it's going to be us just finishing up, adding the fishing details and stuff to the last little thing. So I just made this. Um, we will make the entrance building and stuff. I do have a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like. I just really didn't like the entrance that was here before because um, it was like a wooden kind of theme, and then with the episodes and the things we've been doing lately have been really more classy and like futuristic, so the entrance didn't really fit together with it. Um, so if we start here, we obviously have the three different lanes. This will take us to the wetlands area, this will take us straight, and I guess it'll also take us to the wetlands area. Um, but it'll take you mainly to the reptile house, and this area will go to North America. So North America and reptile house will be the ones we'll be focusing on in a little bit, so in the next 10 episodes, we'll be focusing on North America, making habitats like um, the cougar, the dale sheep, the moose, um, the prairie dogs. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm definitely going to do the moose next. The moose is probably going to be one of the ones that's going to be coming soon. We already have the beaver and we already have the pronghorn. Pronghorn I might make small changes to, um, but overall it's pretty good. So let's go to the gift shop first. Um, I don't want to make this like a full tour of the area, because the because then obviously there's not really a point to um, having a wetlands tour, like a full video commitment to that. So, a uh, really quick little build here. Um, we go in. Uh, I use these off of the workshop. All right. Um, so yeah, I just put a bunch of like the toys and stuff. Um, just a little bit of customization for me, and then also obviously from the designer of these things. Um, I made little cupboards and stuff for, like, to make it look a little bit more realistic. Probably add a bit more detail later on, like fishing touches or whatever. Um, and then we have this area over here, which is basically the same thing. More toys, more things and stuff for sale. Amazing. Um, whoever made these, these are really creative. I really like these. Like, they use, like, the signs from the Australia pack. They look really creative. Nice. Um, then we can go out. So yeah, that was a really quick little, um, thing. I put a little couple of vending machines, um, just to... I don't understand what's going on with this guy. He's trapped here. I can't move him. And he's on a path. I don't know why I can't move him, or he won't go by himself. But alright then, uh, we have the reptile house. So if we quickly go through here... Not what today's video is about. If we go through... Um, we, we're gonna get back to this area first. Um, after we're done the wetlands area. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, so the next episode is going to be, after the wetlands tour and stuff, is gonna be the speckled caiman habitat, so that's gonna be going right there. Uh, but yeah, um, I have a couple ideas for that. Other than that, yes, we're gonna move quickly past. We're gonna go over. Alright, so moving past here, going through the little area. Um, again, this was not very detailed and stuff. Just adding, um, just grasses and gravel and broken trees and stuff. Really not that much. Really trying to make this quick tour. Just going over everything we've done. Um, you can see the otter habitat over here. Um, and I've just added the regular techniques we usually use. Like the leaves on the top. And just the view over top. You can already see the crane aviary from last episode, I think it was. Um, over there in the distance. So this kind of connects everything. Now, this is basically it, honestly. If we go, there is one more thing we can definitely check out, which is the backstage staff area. You can also see the boa constrictor over there. Um, but this is just like the, for the little staff. So they can go in here, and this is like where they go to serve the customers. And there's one for each one of these. 
This one obviously goes over here, and then it connects back to this area. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that. If we go to standard mode again, this is pretty much an overview of what we've done so far. There is one more thing I want to do. So if you like over top, a little bit of the area, we have the lake, we have the crane habitat, we have the platypus, we'll talk about that in a second, and the otter habitat. So yeah, um, the only thing that I wanted to talk about is the platypus. So, the more that I look at this, the more I don't like it. Not the habitat itself. The habitat I love. Like, this little area with, like, the planters and stuff is amazing. I love it. Oh my god, my camera is growing insane. Oh, it's because the game has played. Um, I love this. This habitat is amazing. Love everything about it. The thing I don't like about it is the platypus is in it. The platypus, now that I've looked more on it and stuff, I really don't like the platypus lives here. It's so small. If you look at the size of the platypus, I also think that's another one going in there. You can see a little tail. If you, yeah, there it goes. It moves. Um, and you look how big this is. I don't like it. I really don't. So what I think I'm going to do, we're going to give this to someone else. Um, another wetlands creature. Maybe something like the gray seals. Or, which I think I probably will do, I think I'm just going to add the giant otter in here. The giant otter will actually be perfect. It's a lot bigger than a platypus. And it will be perfect. It, yes, I, th I think that would fit best. And the platypus, don't worry, will be getting its room. I think I'm going to make a habitat for it right here. I think how it's going to work, I'm going to take it off this path, and I'm going to curve the river to go this way, and then we're going to have the house... It's, it's gonna be kind of it's basically gonna be like a house yeah it's, it's really gonna be a house so it's gonna be like a small little really small house that goes near you're probably gonna be able or it's probably gonna be a pathway that goes like this you're gonna go enter one door um have like an underwater viewing go out one and another one and then there's probably gonna be like an outside view maybe over here i don't i don't have the exact plans ready for this um we'll figure something out Anyway, I think that's pretty much it um, for the tour. Next week, we have a Yellowstone video and episode 3 of our Prehistoric Kingdom video. Prehistoric Kingdom series, my bad. Uh, Prehistoric Kingdom, we're going to add the first actual habitat creature, the Satakosaurus. And then in Yellowstone, it's going to be also kind of like a chill episode like this. We're going to add... We have two more episodes of that season, because we're on season one right now. Two more uh, two more episodes. Next week we're going to have um, some maintenance and stuff, and definitely the food court. So we're going to make a big food court, like a big food court. Got to pick and picnic areas, small little aviaries and stuff for like some fowl. Um, it's going to be great. Uh, and then the last episode of season one is going to be obviously the big main event. Hopefully the biggest out of all of the season, which is going to be the Wolf Reserve. So at that very end, dead point of that area, um, we're going to have a giant log cabin building. It's going to be super realistic, hopefully. Um, lots of plans for it. We're going to have like the Wolf Lodge out there. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm really hoping it is. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. I will see you all after the weekend. Mm -hmm.